Here is the most recent update to the Tease Math online review. You can find a link to a free sample for this as well as a link to the full review in the description below. There's nearly 200 questions in this online review and more are getting added on a regular basis. And now the newest update is video solutions for each individual problem. So I'm just gonna select a random answer here. And when I check it, you've always had a written explanation for every single question, but now the newest update is this, video solutions for the exact problem right here. Scroll down a little and you can press play on that. Sonia had some loose change in her purse. She had three times as many quarters as dimes, five times as many nickels as dimes, and two times as many pennies as nickels. What is the ratio of quarters to pennies? Quarters to pennies. The ratio, now one way we can look at it is quarters to pennies, or let's think about it as a fraction, quarters over pennies. Two different ways of saying the same thing. Order is important, quarters to pennies, quarters to pennies, quarters over pennies. So this is our goal right here, and I'm going to show you a dimensional analysis approach in this video solution, but also if you look at the solution to this problem, there is a link to another video I have on YouTube that shows a different approach. So I encourage you to check out both ways and see which one works better for you. Now, since our goal is quarters to pennies, I'm going to start off my dimensional analysis with something that we know about quarters. She had three times as many quarters as dimes. Here's what this really means. For every three quarters she has, there's gonna be one dime. That's what three times as many quarters as dimes represents. For every three quarters, she has one dime. And I mean, technically, yes, you could do this. You could say for every six quarters she has, she's gonna have two dimes because technically that's the same ratio. Notice. If we said this, she has three times as many quarters as she does dimes. Two times three gives you six. I mean, you could do an infinite amount of ratios here. For every 12 quarters she has, she has four dimes. That's the same thing. Three times as many quarters as dimes. 12 quarters, four dimes. Yes, she has three times as many. And what I want you to realize is that all of these simplify to give you three over one. Now let's take this, let's get rid of dimes because we do not want dimes in our answer. So what's something that we know about dimes? Five times as many nickels as dimes. So what does this mean? For every one dime she has, she will have five nickels. Five times as many nickels as dimes. So for every one dime, she has five nickels. We can get rid of the dimes. And now let's get rid of nickels. What do we know about nickels? Two times as many pennies as nickels. So she has more pennies, two times as many pennies as nickels. So for every one nickel, she has twice as many pennies. Look at what we can get rid of. The nickels cancel out. Now let's multiply across the top, and we're also gonna multiply across the bottom. I know when I've done dimensional analysis and other solutions, we multiply the top numbers, divide by the bottom numbers, but look at what we have here. We have quarters up top, pennies at the bottom. Multiplying our top numbers, we get three. Three times one times one, and I'm gonna put a Q up there because that is our quarters. That's the only word we have left. At the bottom, one times five times two is 10. The only word we have left down here is pennies, and here's our ratio, three to 10. For every three quarters she has, she has 10 pennies. And notice that is our answer right there. Now, if that was a little bit confusing, again, I did mention earlier, check out the link in the video solutions provided for this problem for another way of doing this coins and ratio problem.